under a killing moon. Oh. Another Monday down. Let's uh let's see where we get. Why aren't you letting me click? Come on. Did we? Did it not save? I thought I saved. Maybe I didn't. Oh, you know what? No, I don't think I did. I think I died. That's alright. It is time to kill a moon. Or the moon will kill us. Uh, race war time, I think, right? I think that's what we were uh, getting ourselves into. Oh god, move. The supervisor. Alright. So this is kind of where we left off last time. Let's get our little buddy. And, uh, I think we fry him. Nice graphics, though. <laughs> Makes me so Poor happy. little guy. He must have tripped something on the console, or maybe the old roast beef sandwich spontaneously combusted. At least he got the door open for me. All right. Take a peek in. And, yeah, I think this is kind of where we got to. The we console really seemed to be working, but they're unaccessible. It's a memo. It says, memo to Marcus Tucker. This disc was confiscated from Ava Shanzi before she was imprisoned on the Moon Child. We are still searching her personal effects for any sign of the winter chip. It's a memo. No, I I want the disc. Looks like a mini disc. Something tell Right. Um, let's just look at it. Nothing special. Yeah, that damn floating eyeball's been uh kind of brutal. Did I that button probably triggers the... The consoles seem to be working, but they're unaccessible. Is there more? I think they're... Yeah, the drawer's open, and didn't we get, like, a, a disc? I or a... a Whatchamacallit, a, a key? More discs? Hmm. This laser disc is titled, So you're starting a new job at GRS. I love... God damn it. Alright. I love... Yeah. This looks like it might open one of those office doors. All right, so we've got a ton we can do right now. Um, always kind of good to start off a point and click with like a ton of stuff that we can look into. So let's save it up. And uh, let's check the computer here. Warning. God damn it! Let's Security not check the computer. Security sweep will begin. In five seconds. Let's not do that. Let's get out. Let's head to the conference room, actually. Right? Also a ton of rating, yeah. Let's check what's in that laser disc player. Right? Because now we have a laser disc. So we can combine... Actually, let's examine it first, right? Oh, there's a scratch on the laser disc. I wonder if it still works. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Of course there's something. Um, let's see. It might... Hello. I'm Marcus Tucker. It, is that it? I feel like there should have been more with this. Hello, I'm Marcus Tucker. It, uh, okay. <laughs> um, can I c combine or use this with this? Well, that's not uh, gonna work. No. Okay. 
Marcus Tucker did not get us much, but that's all right. We still we got so much though. We got this mini disc. We got this pass key. Door. We got a whole new room we can open. Wait, did did that? This looks like the door to the. All right, good. Did get us in. Okay, this is the big man's office. The uh, leader of the race war, I think, right? Wow, they had computer consoles just like this on Lost in Space. As a matter of fact, I think these must be the props. <laughs> Please insert the next disc to continue. God, remember when that was a thing? These computer panels probably do something, but I... Alright, well, we've got another door there at least, but let's... Pencils could be useful. You can always tell how important a person is by the number and quality of their mugs. I feel like I need Louie to uh, get me out of this jam. What the hell is this debt? Alright, so there's no... Like, these aren't actual drawers. These are just buffers. These drawers are in need oh. of a good rifling. I, apparently they are drawers. These drawers... An old piece of masking tape is stuck here. Looks like some numbers are oh. printed on it. Good One, enough. One, four, two, two, three, five. One, eh, four... Probably doesn't mean a thing. Right, 2235. That's the code. Oops. For that other room that we were in, where we had to find the six digits. So. Can't. An old P. Alright, so this it won't even let you take it, but that's alright. How about you? Are you drawers too? These drawers. What is that? An old fashioned red tip wouldn't match. My Zippo's out of fluid. Maybe I should keep this around for an emergency light. Nothing else left. These dr And... Nothing. Alright. Well, let's check out I'm this. willing to bet that access to this computer is extremely unlikely. Okay. Uh, what about this? Warning. Screen? God damn it! Security sweep will begin in five seconds. All right, let's get out of here. Wait. Try to move a little faster. Are you kidding? God damn it! If you get out of this alive, do me a favor and start getting some <laughs> regular exercise. God damn it! All right, well, we at least got into here. Did we? We didn't grab the stuff. That did. Yeah, we did. Grab the mini disc. Um. God. That door. Yeah, like, you can't advance. You know what? It It's so frustrating. Like, you don't know when you can advance and when you can't. The game is, uh. Oh my god, please, movement. It's just... Oh, God! Wait, was that... I'm not sure which way it was going. Oh god! All right, so it looks like it—it it actually does go into the rooms. I wasn't—I wasn't sure if it would or not. This is interesting. This panel must control access to the safe. Looks like it's a voice-activated ID system. Okay. My guess is that only Marcus Tucker's voice will work on this system. So that's easy, right? We've got that solution. We're gonna combine this with this, right? Oh no, uh, this. Sorry, combine this and this. And then we can use, hello, I'm Marcus to uh, 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 And that should get us in. But let's grab the items we're missing first. These. No. Nothing. And I just want to look at this, even though we have it. No. It is the no same numbers, right? Like four, two, two, three, stuck. five. Yeah, this the game's not that clever. All right, let's save up. Easy game, easy life. 
We're going to play this with this. I'll need to turn on the access panel first. Oh, of course you will. I'll need to... No. To access the safe, please prepare for voice ID verification. Please speak your name now. I, uh, I did check the top drawers before we died last time. Hello, I'm Marcus Tucker. Hello, I'm Marcus Tucker. Hello, <laughs> I'm Marcus Tucker. Stand by for DNA scan. Wait, what? DNA incompatible. Attention, security you... intruder on premises. Well, I, I don't know if I can get in here quickly. Oh, shit. This little Buddha has two initials on it. Anything else in here? No, I don't think so. We just gotta get out. We gotta get out. All right, we're out. We're good. We can now access that computer. The super. Let's uh, let's take a look at a couple things here. So we've got this video cassette. I think we're gonna use. Let's take a look at this Buddha. Oh, shit! I broke it. <sighs> Some clumsy. Is that our winter I'll chip? Darn. This must be the winter chip. It's the winter chip. It was chip. right here under the cult's nose the whole time. All right. Looks interesting, but I'll need to find a video cassette player. <laughs> right. Because uh, in the year 2054, we're still going to be using this video cassettes. This must be one of the winter chips the colonel referred to. Obviously. Um, all right, so let's get to this. This type of safe requires a... And it was 142235. One, four, two, three, five. Bang. What are you? I wonder what's in that vial. It says cigarette viral powder. Viral powder for cigarettes? A cigarette load is a classic practical joke, but this is ridiculous. I mean, we have a cigarette. We now have a virus cigarette. Lethal cigarette, okay. This game's getting a little bit darker. Oops, that's not what I want to use. Now, can we use our mini disc with this computer? Computer passcard required I guess not. to access this computer. All right, so we don't have the passcode for her computer yet. That's, I'm not sure where that could be actually. There's not a whole lot of places we have left. Ah, shit, uh, you know what? We did. This is cool. Let's let's save. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna kill someone, probably ourselves, quite frankly. <laughs> frame by frame lag like this. It's that audio signal, man, or audio uh, analog signal. That. No buffering. No nothing. We're just straight up analog signal. All right, here we go. Let's head into here. And, I mean, I imagine, like, I don't quite know how to use the tape with this. Well, that's not gonna work. Like, I don't. Some kind of remote control pad. Well, the video screen works. Now I need to get something to actually come up on the screen. All right, so. Can I just, like, load it here? Well, that's not gonna That's work. not gonna work. Where the hell would you load the, the tape? Like, here, I would imagine, would be a place. I don't know where you would load a tape here. <laughs> Shove it into the screen? Yeah, man, like... All right, remember when I said we had like 10,000 things we, we were set and good to do? We, we've actually exhausted just about everything we can do. Um, I mean, I 
Uh, I guess I can't use question mark. But if I can, I can I smoke up? I mean, like, who would I give a lit lethal cigarette to? Yeah, I, I don't know where I would put this tape. Like, why would you make it difficult to load a tape somewhere? Y you'd think this would be... Can you put the cassette into the panel now that it's on? I don't I don't think so, right? Like, if I... Well, that's not going to work. That, that's not going to work. I mean, we would clearly want to watch it in here, I, or at least I assume. And I want maybe one of these we move. Yeah, I don't see any of these that we could move. Warning. God damn it. Security sweep will begin in. Five seconds. All right, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Let's get into here. This we didn't really do a good, thorough ex exploration of this room yet. Anything in this trash? No. I can't believe I'm already out of shit to do. Uh, oh, anything? Looks like some papers have been shredded and dumped in here. A oh, no. In my experience, only important papers get shredded. Fuck, is it another one of these puzzles? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, this is a, uh... <laughs> son of a bitch. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna get out of the research center, right? We're just gonna go back to our office. We don't have to worry. Try to move a little what? faster this time. If you get out of this alive, do me a favor. I hate this game so much. I hate this game. Why? All right, so let's go this way. It should be going down the hall. We should be able to see it. All right, ready? Go, 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 go! All right, let's head... Oh, wow, they locked off everything to me now. I can only go back to my office. Sure, I'm glad to be out of GRS. I'll need to catch a few winks before I go anywhere else. First thing in the morning, I'll need to I... go back and check on Elena. Wait a minute. Uh oh. There's been a change in plans. You and I have a date <laughs> with destiny. Let's go. It feels like I've been asleep for about 10 seconds when I hear something moving through the office. Um, excuse me? Hello again, Murphy. What? Remember me? What the fuck am I fucking at? If not, how about now? The ability to change forms is a talent I was born with. The metamorphosis is difficult to explain, but I've found it quite uh, useful. I haven't had a chance to thank you for your efforts to our cause. You did us a great favor in retrieving the statuette. It was the last key to fulfilling our ancient prophecies. Now we wait until the appointed time. What am I looking Incidentally, at? Incidentally, 
have kidnapped your girlfriend. I know you're looking for a certain computer chip. Abandon your search now, and I won't harm Miss Moore. It would be a shame to kill her. Besides, it's not easy stuffing a head into one of those water coolers. Just ask your friend Pug. He's cooling off right now. Stinky? Oh my god! <laughs> Did they drain the blood out first? I, I'm as lost as all you guys are. Beating the odds, a chameleon to one. I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the water cooler, but it was no dice. The police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant. And it was like they couldn't care less. That's the trouble with this world. The life's still shattered? alive, whether it's mine or Pug's, it still has to count for something. If a crime to humanity is committed, someone should have to pay for it. The chameleon had killed Pug for no good reason and had kidnapped Elena. I'm not about to let him get away with it. Not today. Alright. Well, I mean, I, I literally just came back here so that I could try and put this note together without having to worry about uh, security bullshit. Let's work on that. Oh, God. That, like, this, this is... Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. All right. Let's, let's try and get the top organized together first. Oh, God. Uh, we might be here for a little while, folks. That's not it. That... No. No. Ah, that's... that's it. That's gotta be brother. Yeah, that's got to be brother. All right, this this might not be as bad as I thought. I mean, it, it brother Marcus, right? Brother Narcus? I mean, this is definitely it, right? Oh, wait, maybe, does that not? No. I mean, that's not right. I mean, this definitely matches here. Yeah. So my guess this has to be the very start of the puzzle, right? This is almost certainly the beginning. Unfortunately, I was hoping the last line would be helpful, but it's not. It's just going to be Godspeed, brother. I 
I guess that is Brother Marcus. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We can get this. I mean, now it's unfortunately just going to be a little bit trial and error to see what fits. So we want a, potentially a width here, right? That's not right. This is a puzzle that'll actually get easier as we go on, too. Um, actually, what I... Oh, my God. No. Need some of that, like, soft jazz music right now. Where's my soft jazz music? My puzzle solving music. Don't think this is it. This oil? No. I mean, this does kind of look like it should, but no. If, it's double shred if it was double shredded, we, uh, oh, this, out no, it's not this either. Oh my god. Yeah, I <laughs> We'll get there, folks. It this is just going to be a little bit Uh, potentially. This looks good. All right. Think that th that's one down. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I mean, what I'm going to try and do is just give each one of these a home. Quick, exit out and save. Oh, God. Nah. I, I am going to get a crash, I'm sure, right? But, I mean, it's it's certainly not a hard puzzle. It's just time-consuming. And that's okay. That almost looks good, but it's not. Oh, God. Yeah, and like I, I overlapped some of them there. Yeah. All right. So I think the easiest way to do this is we just do these overlaps, right? We just bring them over here. We we match it up. If it doesn't go, we bring it over here. Yeah, if they didn't give you that Brother Marcus at the top, this would be taking me a hell of a lot longer. Need my like little travel music. Bounce, chicka, bounce, chicka, bounce, chicka, bounce. But. That's no good. What else to do? I did see, um, it looks like they're working on a fan game for Indiana Jones. Uh, kind of like a spiritual successor to The Fate of Atlantis that I was really interested in. I downloaded the demo to that. And I'll probably end up streaming at some point. Um, what else is on the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, someone got an actual paper shredder this time. Uh, other things on the agenda. Um, Outer Worlds that uh, Ponies actually recommended. I um, I kind of just looked at the Steam page of it. This looks good. Yep, this is good. So that's no good. No good. No good. So that... That'll be coming up. Um, the other one that I think we're going to be doing, there's a oh, Outer Wilds, not World. Yeah, uh, Outer, not the one that's. Um, oh, no, it's not put. Uh, not the first person shooter esque one. Um, it's w the one with like 
some like the world blows up in 22 minutes or something. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, what else do I have? I have more Tex Murphys that I actually want to play. I, I've really enjoyed it. Outer Wilds is the cool explanation. Ah, okay. This looks good. Oops, shit, I almost... No. Um, there's a game series called We Were Here. Um, the first one of it is free. Senevera and I played that together at some point. It's a uh, cooperative point-and-click adventure, actually, where like you only have half of the information that you need to solve any puzzle, and so it it relies on you like communicating with the other person. So uh, we played through. Um, this looks good. We played through We Were Here, and um, we really enjoyed it. So we might play through that again just to kind of remember everything. No, this has to be a third column. Um, but there's, like, more uh, games in the series that we wanted to play. I, uh, I kind of really like the idea of the... Is this it? This doesn't look like it. I mean, this this almost does, but no, I can't. No. Ah, uh, so we want to do those. Yeah, the this is this is a fairly miserable puzzle. Definitely one of those. Um, Does, no, I mean, this, like, looks like, it, it's got to be the Seekers of Purity, right? So we're looking for a Y up at the top. Maybe? I mean, this doesn't look wrong. I don't think it can be this one. It is this one. Okay. Yeah, we've only got like 50 of these things to go, so no worries, right? Uh, what else going on? This looks good, right? Yeah, provide. Go was. Yeah, this is definitely it. Uh, let's just try you guys first. Because there's only a couple of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, get that hype going for. Uh... I can't imagine why the point and click genre died. Not entirely fair. There are, there are fantastic point and clicks. Um, a recent one I played not too long ago was Avernum. Avernum was really, really good. Um, I highly recommend Vernum if you if you enjoy these types of games uh, or point and clicks at least. Um, definitely kind of felt the spirit of like a modern day King's Quest, uh, just graphics wise and everything. Let me open my window a little bit too, because it's hot. Mm, nope. Uh, this looks good. Come on, just one. Right? Yeah, that looks okay to me. Ugh, this is miserable. This is so... There's so many left. There's so many left. How many are over here? I don't even get, like, puzzle-solving music. You just gotta do this in silence. Um, the Quest for Glories, I, uh, I never really played. 
I've I've heard very good things about them that they were like way ahead of their time in terms of the stuff you could do, multiple solutions to puzzles, things like that. I did watch uh, Day Nine do uh, Quest for Glory Four and really enjoyed his playthrough of it. This looks good. Yep. This is my life now. Solving this goddamn paper puzzle in silence. <laughs> this is that 10 out of 10 content people are looking for. Thank God Togoff's back. <laughs> oh, is that no? Okay. Oh, we're we're actually just about done. There aren't actually that much, or that much that that many left. This is before. Uh, we need an E. There we go. Um, not entirely sure. Hand? Yep. No? Yep. I think I moved... I think this is too much, yeah. See, like, it doesn't even really snap. You've got to be so goddamn precise with it. Come on. Uh, are these? Okay, yeah, yeah. No? No? I need the end of the end there. So it's just like a little bit, but no, that this can't be it. No spirit, uh, so it's probably blank up here. This? No. Okay, so many left. It, it's, it's going, it's going. We're almost there. This is definitely it. All right, so that's joining. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it, it you can't really even get hype for the solution of this, right? Like, I, I'm about to beat it, but, you know, th this isn't really a let's go, let's go. You know, this is just like, oh, God, finally. <laughs> uh on hell is this right i mean i'd i might i mean this should be upon arriving that's holy bam Let's go. <laughs> Brother Marcus, we are seekers of purity who will abide no defect in spirit or form. The time is close at hand. Your work was exemplary and adhered in every detail to the holy prophecies. Now that we have the sacred relic in our possession, our plans can be carried out. I regret that you had to eliminate Dubois. Alas, such is the folly of man. Shanzi is being held on the moon, child, and will pay dearly for her treachery. Also, as feared, Brother Thaniel was not genetically suitable for our order and had to be retired. Now your instructions. Go to the Bastion of Sanctity. Long, 122 degrees, 47 11, latitude, right. Uh, GPS coordinates. Upon arriving, the chameleon will provide transport. Though he will not travel with you to the moon child just now, as he has other business to attend to before joining us. Godspeed, brother. 
Come on, Togo, up, up, can't tell. Ah, there's no way Titan could do, could, uh, could do better at this. Dude, point and click is my realm. Point and clicks are my realm, man. This might be the last time I see you for a little while, Louie. Lou I, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Too bad you don't like fresh brains, mate. Out off the grill. I, I assume I, I... Do you want a cigarette, buddy? Like, I don't think you're going to know any of these people. Sorry, Sorry wife. wife. Can't help you there. I, I don't think you're going to know any of these people. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, Can't help you there. I, I appreciate I appreciate you, Louie. I, I just don't think you're of any use to us right now. You are a good friend. My trust. The Bastion of Sanctity. Uh, let's not do that. Let's save first, right? You want you want a, a, a chat final chat with a hot little number? Chelsea's a hot little number. <laughs> it's so cringy. How can I help you, Tex? I think I'm gonna die soon. What do you tell me about Marcus Tucker? Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. Good enough. I I really don't feel like talking to the chocoholic or Bilbo My trusty or the elephant man. So I think we're heading out. Here we go. Let's go, guys. Here we go. I heard that some rich guy a few years back bought the remaining pieces of an ancient European castle. This must be the place. As I approach the coordinates given in the shredded note from GRS, I see a massive structure jutting out from a deeply forested area. Bastion looks like a medieval castle, but there's nothing romantic about this place. It seems to lay there, a festering evil, like a paper cut gone bad. From here I can get a good look at the chameleon. He's pacing around, smoking like a brush fire and talking to himself. I don't know what he's smoking, but he looks higher than an infield fly. <laughs> I've got to distract him somehow and get him out of the room. Then I'll figure out a way to get him out of here for good. Uh... I'm not sure I've got anything that would really distract him. That roaring fire makes me wish I'd brought fixins for some oars. Let's just try and save here. We got a Metal Gear Solid. The shit. What the hell is that? Looks like a perfectly harmless bungee cord. It's probably used by the cult as some kind of diabolical torture device. <laughs> I, uh, I agree with you little bits. Fun fact, if you call a woman a hot little number, she will never give you her phone number. That's, uh, that's probably good life advice. Oh, dude, this is like a whole place. Oh god. Dude, the controls are... Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. This door appears to be sealed shut. I guess I'll need to look somewhere else. You know, we never discovered that painted on door. And, uh, it, it does still bother me. Wanna walk in and say hi? Uh... Well, any cult that worships sea monkeys can't be all bad. I'm guessing he's gonna kill me if I do... What the fuck is that? This gargoyle's only got one eye, and it looks removable. I'll take it. This gemstone's small, but it's very dense and heavy. Interesting. I mean, this looks to be something-ish, right? That's an odd place for a vase. I wonder if I could use it as a distraction. Whoops. 
Can I throw? Well, that's not going to work. All right. I mean, it wasn't a horrible idea. Um, maybe I have to, like, make a sling thing out of it? Okay. No. All right. It's all been a misunderstanding. Chameleon, I'm your friend. This looked like something here. But, no, this is just wall. I mean, it's like 8 pixels, so you, you kind of assumed it was something. I swear I've not figured out... Like, I've played this game for a few hours now. I still can't figure out, like, slow movement versus fast movement. These weapons would be really useful if someone hadn't bolted them to the wall. Two antique knights. I'll bet Rook wouldn't mind capturing these. Haha. <laughs> Right? Chest joke? No, no, no. What the hell is that? I don't want to know what the chameleon uses this V clamp for. Ooh. Uh, can we combine it with the bungee cord? Slingshot. Ah, okay. It's a slingshot. It's a slingshot. That makes sense. I wasn't quite sure where they were going with it, but uh, kind of nice when a point-and-click solves the puzzle for you. Can I... Can I find a place to shoot that vase? I mean, maybe they'll just cutscene me here. Loaded slingshot. We're gonna use that with this. Yep, they're gonna cutscene me here. Oh, nope. Alright, he's gone. Come on! Chameleon keeps setting his cigarette in the ash. I, I want to take it. Well, fine. Just put this one here. Oh, if there's any game <laughs> trying to shoot him. Yeah, I might have. Okay, the cigarette's in place. Now if you'll just go for it. Yeah, here he comes. Come on. Come on. Over to the table for some real smoking enjoyment. He's got it. That's it. ASMR Smoke away, sucker. Gotcha. <coughs> I mean, this is kind of dark. Right? We just murdered a dude with a poison cigarette. That... Didn't anyone ever tell you these things can kill you? I... I doing? underestimated you, Murphy. <laughs> Viral powder in my cigarette. Very clever. You're a worthy opponent. Well, you know, I think the world would be a much nicer place without people like you. People who go around stuffing other people's heads into water coolers. But you've accomplished nothing. <clears throat> Except now. I'll be a martyr in the new order. And you'll die with all the other vermin in the great Luvian. <laughs> and when the earth All right, buddy, let's let's keep this going. Has returned to a state of perfection. <clears throat> and the purified races return after the waiting. Oh. My name will live forever. Yeah, I guess that's good in theory. Too bad you won't be around to enjoy it. <laughs> Death means nothing. I would die a thousand times 
to help fulfill the sacred prophecy. Enjoy your victory while you can, Murphy. Oh, God. Tomorrow night, you will die. <laughs> Oh! I caught a lucky break getting rid of the chameleon this easy. Death is always an ugly business, but if anyone deserved it, he did. Now I've got to get Elena out of the force field. The, the what now? The, the force field? I'm sorry, the... Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I think I noticed you there. Hi! Uh... The chameleon has Elena in a laser field. The effect of the beam is probably keeping her sedated. With a chameleon out of the way, I can find out how to shut it off. Um, sure. A oh, shield. Reminds me of my deodorant soap. Being a man doesn't mean you have to smell like one. How? Like, I... <laughs> what do the two things have to do with each other? I've always enjoyed flipping switches. Especially when I'm not absolutely certain what the switch does. Uh, save. Oh, okay. We're, we're good. Tex! I knew you'd come. That, that monster came to the motel. He looked just like you. <laughs> God. So I opened the door. He must have knocked me out. It was terrible, the things he said to me. Oh, Tex, hold me. Kiss me. Um, Gumshoe Motto. Sorry, Elena. But like I was told long ago, guns don't kill detectives. Love does. Mm -hmm. Besides, every time I look at you, I can't help but think of your sister, and that gives me a stomach ache. <laughs> but Tex, I, I think I'm in love with you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um... Worried about genetics. Uh, love Cynic. Look, I'm sorry, but I've been burned a few too many times. And your sister was a real flamethrower. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to make you stay? I... Hmm. Do you play Twisty? Ah, never Jesus mind. <laughs> um... Ethical... Uh, break it gently. Break it gently. <laughs> Incredible confusion. <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong, Elena. I think you're as, as cute as a button. But right now, I got a job to do, and I've got to do it alone. Unless I stop the cult from executing their plan, we're all going to be toast. Men worth having are always running off. Maybe it wouldn't work out for us anyway. If they don't kill you, let me buy you a drink. I owe you a big one. Mm-hmm. Magnanimous. Look, Elena, you don't owe me a thing. But maybe you could help me, because what I really need right now is a good lead. The chameleon said that he was supposed to meet up with someone named Feral Puss at a place called the Broken Skull. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, it does, as a matter of fact. He summoned to his presence a thousand hale and light-hearted friends to the deep seclusion of one of his castellated abbeys. This was an extensive and magnificent structure, the creation of the prince's own eccentric yet august taste. A strong and lofty wall girdled it in. Without was the Red Death. Well, James Earl Jones out of nowhere. Is that the final room? Yes, brother. Everyone has arrived. And all the provisions are stored. What about the wine? We hadn't received the shipment when I last checked the inventory. All is in order, brother. We have sufficient supplies to take us into the next century. Excellent. I will notify the master that everything is prepared. The celebration is set to begin at the appointed hour. PowerPoint cutscenes. Um... Uh, I guess 
the newsstand, but let's see if our hot little number knows where this place is. Chelsea's a hot little number. What's going on, Tex? What do you know about? Feral pus. Right? That's the only new one we've got? Yeah. Wish I could help you there, Tex. Son of a bitch. You know... You get nothing. Louie. Louie is gonna know Feral Pus. Louie. Okay. What's on your mind? It's, oh, was it on my map? Did I just miss it? It's possible. Sorry, Mife. God damn Can't it, Can't help you there. You know... It's not you, buddy. It's me. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that up here. Oh. Oh, my. Uh, let's save. Like, now I'm going to just save every 30 seconds because... You know. Now that I've realized how easy it is to die. I think the prostitute will help. Now, we, we, we got our... Uh, we got our place to be. Um, oh my, can we just drive to space? I, I guess we can. We, we can just drive to space. The way station is small, with a diameter of maybe 5,000 meters. I, I have no problem that. finding the Broken Skull, which turns out to be a typical off-world saloon. The kind of place where all the booze is watered down, the prices are tripled, and the waitresses all have fresh stitches on their foreheads. It's strangely quiet, though, and the dame behind the bar looks like she'd just as soon cut my throat as pour me a drink. Give me one sec. Oh. So what do you have? Give me one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I heard uh, Cinevera from the other room, and um, I thought she was yelling at me, but she was not. She was yelling at the game she's playing. <laughs> uh, let's um, let's order a manly drink. Give me four fingers of rye whiskey. Neat. Mm. You know we don't take American Express. Cash customers only. Uh, credit card humor. Thought the place looked familiar. I must have seen it in a Visa commercial. Ah, very amusing. What brought you here? <laughs> um, let's dig for some information. Looking for some friends of mine who came here a while ago. A lot of people come and go here. I can tell the place is packed. Let's go with a uh, let's go with a casual bribe. I got a hundred dollar bill that's all dirty and crumpled. Could you toss it in the trash for me? Put your money where your mouth is, Rockefeller. Um, I, I have a hundred dollar bill? Why do I, why do I have a hundred dollar bill? What? Why do I have this? Uh, okay. Okay, money bags. One question. What do you know about Ava Shanzi, Paul Dubois, and Camden Leander? They were here about a month ago. I don't know where they went. There's your answer. Now I'm gonna have Bluto escort you out. We don't need nosy types around here. <laughs> hey, Bluto! I shouldn't have to remind you, Murphy. What? Never underestimate a woman with an attitude. I... What? What? <laughs> oh, goodness. The way station is small. So what are you... Um... 
Give me four. We'll go. You know we'll go we don't. Drink. We'll do. Not the. I think we're uh, on the right track. Looking for some. A lot of. That's not mince words. I'll give you a C note for some information. Put your money where your mouth is, Rockefeller. <laughs> yeah, Pluto is uh. Okay, money bags. One question. Um, I guess. Can you help me find a ride to the moon, child? Do you have the token? Uh, inquisitive. Maybe. Give me a hint on the type of token you're looking for. Wrong answer, friend. I'm afraid that your visit here is going to be permanent. Wait, gee. I shouldn't have to remind you, Murphy. Never. Uh. Oh, boy. All right. The way station is. Can I? I got a hundred dollar bill right here. Says you like to talk to strangers. Are you a cop? No, I'm no stinking cop. Okay. Looking for some friends. A lot of. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> what does she need Pluto for? <laughs> I'm here to meet someone. The chameleon sent me. Do you have the token? Um. Let me check. No, I must be in my other overcoat. Look. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I mean, maybe you're one of us, and maybe you're just an idiot. Go find your token. If you come back here without it, don't plan on leaving. Okay. 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 Where would I... Where, where would I find this token? Oh, shit! I mean, there's still a couple things we haven't done, right? We... <laughs> Gamer noob, welcome. How are you, sir? Oh, God! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Fuck, abort! Abort! Fuck, get out of there! <laughs> Come on. Although, he had a computer that was unlocked. Can I put the data disk in his computer? Goddamn. Oops, that's not what I want. She wants to dig. Gotta get that token, though. Um, can we... Well, that's not gonna work. Can I, I... I can't... Wasn't it this thing that... Looks like this computer requires a... Yeah, I guess we can't do that anymore. Um... I'm not entirely sure... That The super so we don't know how to get into Ava's computer. This computer has access denied. Right, and even with the mini disc. Computer passcard required to access this computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we don't we don't have that yet either. Um just standard office desks. That's not a note. It's a memo. No. It says memo That's to Marcus not. Tucker. This disc was confiscated from Ava Shanzi before Yeah, I, I don't think our computer can handle it. It's not a horrible idea. I'd also don't quite understand the conference room yet. That Try to move God. a little faster this time. I hate this fucking game. If you <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. 
Oh, do we still have to... We still need the token, though. Um, although the token may not be opened up until we talk to her. Right? We don't, we don't quite know that for sure. Oh, that's an interesting... Uh, doesn't have a VHS player. What about the... Um, whatchamacallit, the, the electronic store? The way station there. is small. So what do you have? Alright, so let's... Give me... Thought the... Look at... Okay, money bag. <laughs> Floppy disk. Yeah. Um... You... I'm unprepared. Alright, so we know we need a token. You know, let's... We do have that pus dude. Let, let's talk to her. You again? Um... Oh, see? See, see, see? I don't know about that. I'd like to help you, but I can't. Okay, well, you know. Um... Nothing is there. Colonel's office is blank. Let's let's go co oh, ask the cop. What now, Seamus? Bum, bum, bum. Can't help you with that. Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? She still hasn't gotten dressed. No. Maybe Louis has a token. I got it right here, Moif. Someone just dropped it off. You can have it if you'd like. Um, you know, we do have a computer here, but I, I think our computer is just the, uh, like, look up somebody computer. I don't think it has a disk drive. But it might. Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, that's, that's not gonna work. Fuck, come on, come on. No, 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 no. All right, let's talk to her, our hot little number. Chelsea's a hot little number. Talk to me, handsome. Um, ask about... So Damn, you're useless. Louie, Louie, don't let me down, buddy. Buddy, come on. L Someone dropped this token. I think it's actually going to be uh, Elena. What can I, I think it's going to be Elena who's got our information. Sorry. God damn it, Louie. You've just been... You've been nothing but disappointments lately. Oh, say... Oh, shit. Yeah, let's let's save again. Good call. Good call. Good call. <laughs> um, it's actually... It's possible that this guy might know something. He seemed to be an insider. Hey, Mayfi! Um, do you know anything about tokens? I haven't got any info on that. What about feral pus? I can't help you there. All right, you're useless. Let's head to the roadside motel. Thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick. This poor actress. This was your big break. The chameleon said something about using an old silver dollar as a token. I don't know where you could find one. They're so rare. Maybe the pawn shop? Wish I could help you. I'm thinking the pawn shop. Gotta be the pawn shop. Um. Oh, Rook's pawn shop. And actually, shoot, I did want to look in the electronics store. Just to this see. Is the, this is the brain. Oh, right, shit. Because they haven't taken this item away from... Ah, no, stop. Anything in here? No. All right, it was worth a look. It was worth a look.
let's... Judas Murphy, can't you find something else to do besides bothering me? I could use a silver dollar. Yeah, I've got a couple of old Susan B. Anthony silver dollars in my coin collection. They're pretty expensive. They're, I guess I do owe you something. All right. I... We're... We're good. That, that wasn't so bad. So we're still... We're still missing <clears throat> a few things. But... I say we, uh, we trouble with the progress that we know we can make. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. Yeah. It went through the wash, but I think it'll work. Well, let's see it. I haven't got all day. It's supposed to be a little bit of innuendo there. Okay. Okay. Go knock on that door and say, Jax or better. The man you need to see is in there. I walk down a hall and look at the name tag on the door. Barrel Puff. Must be a charming guy. I call out the password and a gravelly grating voice calls loudly for me to come in. As I step into the back room, I'm blasted by an aromantic wave of cigar smoke, alcohol, fish, and body sweat. The combination almost knocks me out. The room is empty except for a bloated hog of a man who seems to be the source of all the foul odors. Job of the Hut? Oh. I ain't seen you here before. Who the hell are you? Uh... Friendly, sort of. My friends call me Tex. You can call me Mr. Murphy. Unless you'd like to be my friend. You know, I made a bet that you wasn't stupid enough to use your real name. I guess we both lose, Murphy. You know, Mr. Puss, it's not only rude, but it's also illegal to point a Lester flame rod at a total stranger. Ha <laughs> ha, you're not a total stranger. I've been waiting for you for a while now. Though I thought you was gonna come up with that chameleon. So you're disappointed the chameleon isn't here, huh? Why? Was he your girlfriend? Oh, got him! Hell, I oughta blow your head off right now. But I ain't gonna. I like watching you sweat. You know, I bet you do. Probably makes your own body odor less noticeable. Watch your mouth, boy, or I'll blow your damn head off. <laughs> this is amazing. My boss told me that when you got here, I should take care of you. Now sit down! <laughs> well, great. I'd like a Mai Tai with two umbrellas and a nice plate of those cocktail weenies. I don't think so. I think you wanted me to slit your throat. But there ain't no sport in that. So I'm gonna give you a chance to beat the odds. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've beaten a few odds in my time. I'll guarantee you haven't beaten this. Oh no. Is this a mini game? I call it the Ferrolette table. Three of them balls are hollow, and there's a spy drone in each one. They're little robotic arachnids with nasty stingers. <laughs> well, dare I ask what's in the fourth ball? Inside that one is part of a ticket to the moon child. I'll mix them around. Then you just have to pick the ball with the ticket and open it up. Do that four times, and I'll take you to the moon child. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Sounds like the old shell game to me. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Close enough. Here's the ball with the ticket. Let's play. This... Okay. Okay, pick a ball. Any ball. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. I think it's this one. Right? I, I think it's this one. Um. Finish up this lousy shell game and let's get on with it. Okay. Top sound, you think? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess you guys may have been right there. I, I guess you guys may have been right there. I, I may not have been watching very closely. <laughs> did you find what you were... Yeah, we did. All right. Yeah. I'm a friend of the... Ha <laughs> ha. 
What? I'll get inside that cloak. All right, point at that one. Okay, pick a ball, any ball. Spider was kind of cute. It's this. It's south now. I swear I see it as the same one. Like, I thought it was this one he pointed to. I, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, it's the top one? Beginner's luck. Let's see how you do this time. All right. So it's that ball. I wish it did. All right. I see it as this one. Right? I, I see it as this guy. Is that, that accurate? This delay. <laughs> okay, center. I'll I'll believe you. I gotta do this four freaking times. All right, here we go. Here we go. Damn it! I guess I need to speed up the balls a little bit. Ah oh, shit! Well, third time's the charm for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh god. I think it's this one. I think it's uh this top left one. The bottom, you think? I don't know, there was like a flint front <sighs> Yeah, it flicked at the one point, so it's tough. Uh we've got a mix between levels uh, lefts and mills. Yeah, uh I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Shit! God damn it! Finish God damn up it. His lousy shot. God damn it. Well. Did you find what? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. I walked down. All right. My friend. Ha! Oh. I'll guarantee. Inside that. See, I want to see this again. Okay. Like... Pick a ball. Any ball. I swear I still see it as this one every time. So we, we thought it was the top one to begin with, right? I think it was. Yeah. I swear I see it as that one every time. Beginner luck. Let's see how you do this time. This one I got right. Yeah. Yeah, that flickering is is brutal. Damn it! I guess I need to speed up the balls a little bit. Well, third time's the charm for me. <laughs> All right, so we got the left one there. Yeah, it like flicks there. What the fuck? So we're going to try the bottom this time, I think. Lucky today, aren't we? I can't wait to see a spy drone tear your head off. No one's gotten this far before, Murphy. It'd be a real shame if you screwed up now. I... 
I thought this middle one? Yeah, someone slept. Oh man, that's brutal. I thought it was this middle one for me, but yeah, it like flicks. We're thinking left? We can look at left. It it would not be the left. <laughs> Finish up this. God damn it. Uh, son of a bitch fighters. All right. Um travel again, but we at least have top They tricked us. They did. Did you find I walk down a hall and look at the name tag on the top mid bottom not here. left. My friend Ha <laughs> right. ha inside Okay Can I just no <laughs> No James Earl Jones <laughs> Oh god imagine if it wasn't the same every time this would be miserable Beginner. <laughs> These games are just so unfair. Damn it. Yeah, it like literally when they all connect. All right, bottom. Lucky today, aren't we? One more. I can't wait to see a spider We know not left. Head off. No one's gotten this far before, Murphy. You got a 33% a real chance. Shame. All right. I'm going to try and follow it. No, I, I completely lost it. The fucking screen flickers. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can save here. Wait, I can't save here, can I? No. No. <laughs> it's a 50-50 shot. You either got it or you don't. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's go with the center. Finish up this lousy... I, I can't believe that you can actually save in the middle of this. That that's that's awesome. Do we know it's not the middle? <laughs> that's so dumb. Let's try the top. Not the top. All right. So we know. Finish up this lousy. <laughs> if the cane has some mercy, yeah. Well. I mean, considering the damn balls flicker, you, like, can't follow them at all. Damn you, Murphy! I wanted to see you die! But we did make a deal. I'm taking a few people up to the moon, child, in a couple of hours. You can what, go with us. What is this game? <clears throat> I have some business to take care of. Wait at the bar until we leave. Drinks are on me. Be sure to ask for the house special. It's my favorite. Sit down, brother. Have a drink. It's on the house. Uh, let's do a little small talk Free here. Free drinks? Doesn't that eat up the profits? <laughs> That's pretty funny. This way station's going to be a ghost town tomorrow. I intend to drink as much of the good stuff as I can before we fly off to the promised land. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely a trap. Uh, let's try and slyly buy some time. Damn it, I haven't even started packing yet. It's all soon before we leave. Oh, it won't be long now. The purification will be tomorrow at midnight. Uh, politely curious. What is the purification? You don't know? The purification is the foundation of the Brotherhood. You're not really one of us, are you? 
Son I'm of a afraid bitch. you God. won't be coming with us. I shouldn't have to remind you, Murphy. Never underestimate a woman with an attitude. <laughs> Fuck! I need to remember I can save anywhere. Like, this is just so out of what, what you normally do. You, you don't save in the middle of these types of games. Damn. <coughs> right? I, I can just go here and hit save. I, I'm... I'm just figuring this out now. Oh. Uh, sure, that's fine. Let's polite refusal. No thanks. Maybe later. Oh, come on. Where are you gonna go? We'll be leaving for the promised land pretty soon. All? Let's try and buy some time again. I haven't even started. Oh, it won't be long now. Right. Colt Bluff? Well, finally, the holy prophecies are coming true. By the way, Farrell told me to ask about the house special. Oh, really? Well, uh, Farrell's always been partial to the house special. Here you go. Uh, invite her to join in. Yeah. Hmm, this ought to hit the spot. Are you going to join me? Of course not. Oh, no, it's a little strong for me. It's a man's drink. It's uh, Rufy flavored. Thank you. So, you're Tex Murphy. Well, we're going to make your trip as comfortable as possible. Nighty night. <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? Damn. When I come to, I realize I must be on the moon child. Searching my pockets, I find that everything I was carrying has been taken, including the winter chip. Maybe if I'd hidden it, say, in a watch with a secret compartment, the cult might not have found it. Now there's no way for me to stop them. I see you're back again. Wait! This is getting old, Murphy. So this game has an unwinnable? Heck. I I think that's unwinnable. Yeah, I I think that's unwinnable. I mean, we can try not to drink. Sit down, brother. Have a drink. Um, polite refusal. No. Oh. Damn. Oh, it won't. Well, by the way, fair Oh, really? Uh, change of heart. I'd really rather have a few fingers of bourbon. Try this first. Could make you swear off bourbon. Okay, and he when I come to I see you back again. So I, I think this is an unwinnable. Which is strange, but... Yeah, I, I, I think you literally just can't win there. I don't think there's a way through the dialogues. So, we do know that we still have some stuff that we need to do, right? We never found the access to uh, Ava's computer. And we still haven't figured out how to put a movie on in the conference room. So, let's try and figure that out. <laughs> yeah, it is. It actually, it's very out of character for this game. Star Cow will agree. It's like they were afraid that the player was going to beat the game, and so they needed to add in as many anti fun features as they could. Unwinnable so, like things are the absolute worst of any game. Where the where the hell would you put in? You know, I want to look at the hints just to tell me, like, what I'm missing. So doing the mansion, searching the GRS. Using the video screen, what to do with the winter chip, getting past the bartender. All right, so nothing here really... N 
nothing there is really... You sure you can't open underneath the TV? I don't think so. I might have missed it. Now, it doesn't seem to be... Cabinet is handcrafted oak. My favorite cat. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What fucking bullshit is this? Look at this. This all looks the exact same. Oh, the cabinet doors are locked. Maybe there's something worth finding inside. All right, well, never mind. Hmm. Locked. Because it's locked. Okay. I don't think we have any... Can we use the credit card, like, to open it? Well, that's not... Damn, so we're still missing a lot. Oh, the cabinet doors... Hmm. We're still missing an awful lot, then. Alright, let's look around. I thought, you know, it's one of those things you could use, like, the credit card to open the lock type of thing. God, it's so trippy when you start, like, getting your shit. Um, yeah, damn. I missed a very important thing. I imagine I did. Uh, I don't want to look in here. I want to look in here. This is... Is that... What is that? That's just a, a pixel. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. We have the office of the lead guy that we didn't really give a solid look through of. I am slightly concerned that it's somewhere in the hallway, but we did pretty... we looked through there pretty closely before. That... Oh shit, I don't know where this thing is. It's gonna kill me. Yeah, I, I knew it! I fucking knew it. And I this is as fast as I can move. Come on. God. This is cool. This looks like the Come on, open it. Go in! Try to move a little faster this time. Are you fucking kidding me? Sit down, brother. Oh, shit. Yeah, we can't go there. Alright. I mean, it's gotta be in the GRS, right? The key, I don't think, is gonna be anywhere else. It wouldn't make sense for that stuff to be anywhere else. It almost has to be in this office. This is this looks like... Is this a desk? Did we look at this? Wow, they had computer consoles just... I mean, that looks like it would be open, but apparently not. In the trash can? No? Although I got the torn up note, but I didn't really look again in the... Nah, trash is empty. Okay. These... These... An old piece of masking tape is stuck here. These... What did that do again? Is what did entering that code do again? 
gonna kill me. Try to it? move a little. Oh, it's gonna kill me. <sighs> that probe is cancer. All right. We're here. Oh, right, it opened up this safe, but there's nothing else in here, right? No. So we don't have her access card. God knows where that could even be. We don't have the key that would theoretically open up the case to the um, video. We have no idea about, like, how to hide this chip. We're, we're, uh, a little bit bamboozled, folks. We came into this strong, and within an hour and a half, we're, like, completely dead-ended. That... How to hide it. Right, uh, the hint was to hide it in a watch, but we don't have a watch. And my guess is that once we go to the moon, we're, we're stuck on the moon. So, like, we won't be able to solve the puzzles here. Is that something? No, it's just Pixel. Takes an experienced PI to... Colon, please. I... Find a watch. Well, sure, but... I mean, the pawn shop is where you'd get a watch. But I have no reason, like, my character wouldn't think to hide a watch there. Uh, where else can we go here? I can't think of anywhere else that... Maybe the Colonel's office? The Colonel's office is a potential. Though, I mean, I think I've been all through there. Are you something? Whoever that was that met me here the other night may have set me up, but I'll bet you didn't get her cleaning deposit back. Like, I don't know how I would even ask the dude how to, like, for a watch. Searching through that fireplace could be a real pain in the ash. Real pain in the ash. <laughs> hide it at the pawn shop, but I don't think there's a way for me to give it to them, right? Like, I don't think there's a way that I can say, like, give him the item. This must be one of the winter chips the Colonel referred to. I don't see anything on it that I mean, we can try talking to him, Adorly. but I don't. I don't think that's going to be the answer. What else can I help you with, Murphy? Aww. Yeah, see, I can ask about specific things, but I can't ask about like how to hide. Yeah, I've got a couple of old Susan B. Anthony silver dollars. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know. I, I... Yeah. Oh, what would I do? I'm I'm obviously missing something at GRS, and pixel hunting in this game this is kind is, of miserable. This is the brand. Oh, right. I, there's nothing in there. Like. The electronic shop is also where you... Well, maybe I could try talking to him. You know what? Let's let's just try talking to him. Because he's not an investigate. <sighs> Stop it. Well, that's not good. That pudgy computer dweeb really has... Well, 
Well, what are you looking for? Um, uh, I'm looking for a going away gift for my dog Reggie. Have you got any chicken bones? Oh, try Fido's novelty shop. They have nice doggy gifts. Yeah, I I was in here before, Divine, and like this is where you buy every piece of electronic, but there's nothing in there now. So, what do we need? We need Ava's access card. For the computer. We need a key for the conference room. And we need a watch or something that could hide the winter chip. Now, <laughs> where any of that stuff is, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the colonel's office could potentially have something like that, but I, I think it's that key. I think it's that key that's somewhere in GRS. We've looked all through here. I'm sure we have. Spoopy. Yeah, there's just nothing there. Dude, this is tough. Um... I'm kind of drawing blanks here. Yeah. Looks like the Colonel always he's desperate. Colonel always did. Come on, shut up. Looks like these he's desperate. Nothing there. Nothing there. This door leads out. I mean, and the GRS would be so much better without that damn frickin' probe. I mean, we did pixel hunt. Is that death? No. We did pixel hunt this for looks a like lot of this. These computer panels probably do. I mean, the reality is the game doesn't really let you pixel hunt in here because that damn drone comes back, so. Plastic plants always. Plastic. Whoa. These drawers. Yeah, man. <clears throat> These. Does that close the other one? <laughs> it does. Funny. No key or anything. Dude. I'm willing to I'm willing to bet that I Alright. Alright, game. What can you tell me about this? Look at the video screen, get the marks. 
So there's all these steps? Oh, so you use your points, and I, I guess that probably did cost me a point to do that. Right, yeah, it just hitting the hint screen actually cost you a point. That's interesting. What to do in the mansion is still... Like, the fact that that's still a thing? This door is the only... That tells me I, I might have missed something in the mansion. Right? That's all that makes sense. If it's still saying that there's something here... Whoever that was, it meant me. This trash cans go. Only the most callous criminal would... Wait, 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 wait. Right, you could move that thing, but why? I don't remember there being anything. Only. Why can't I move it only, now? Only, 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 only the most... Ca I see nothing. I, I see nothing. Only the... Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything there. Like, th this isn't a big room. This is where I, I had to have missed something. If that's still on the sheet. These doors may have opened at one time. These doors may... This table must have come with a room. Whoever that was... What, what have I... What have I missed in here? Whoever... That... Searching through that fireplace could be a real pain in the ash. Alright, I... What did I miss in here? I didn't do anything in the mansion? Wait! I did all this shit! Oh. It didn't get rid of the hint. Oh, no. I, like, I, I looked at the bird. I did the bird puzzle. So that's not it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I, I'm, I'm losing my mind about this. Find and get the key. Find and get the key. <laughs> I needed four points to find and get the key. Oh my god. And then, like, finding out about Ava... Get Ava's computer card from somewhere in the supervisor's office. Okay, okay. Alright, so we know... We know that at least. That that's at least something. We know it's in the supervisor's office. The director of operations is the supervisor, right? This looks like the door to the... So the key has got to be in here somewhere. Or not the her Ava's key card rather. Where the fuck is the key card though? I I mean is it in the pencil cup? You got Can I move a chair? Looks like Tucker used the standard three-chair office array. Is it under this table? I don't get it. Where am I missing this? 
There's nothing on the wall here that's like a safe or anything, right? No. The frustrations abound. Oh god, that's really trippy. Don't look up. Woohoohoo! Woohoohoo! Huh. Yeah, I mean, just find the key. How, how tough can that be? Just find Ava's card. You're confused? Yeah, me too, buddy. <laughs> the drawer looking thing by the director's desk. This looks. What drawer? Oh, yeah. Um, he just comments that it's like space... F uh, lost in space or something. Right? This thing, it just... Wow. 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 Yeah, it's nothing. Dude, I'm, I'm ready to look this up. I, I have no idea. I feel like I've combed this. It's not a big area. What do you have in your inventory at this point? Anything obvious? At all. Uh, I've got the newspaper. Nothing good. Credit card, nothing good. List of bidders, nothing really. The mini disc, which is going to go in Ava, uh, in Ava's um, computer. Video cassette, which will go in the conference room. Winter chip, which we know we have to hide. The assembled note, which I like killed myself on. And the token to get into the end of the world but uh, I'm, I'm open to to some hintages of at least the room that I need to be looking into I feel like I've been all through these rooms Let's try going. This door. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. The super. Oh, wait, the supervisor's office. Isn't that what it said where her key was? It did say the supervisor's office. Get Ava's computer card from somewhere in the GRS supervisor's office. So it's it's somewhere in here. The key for the cabinet door is in the conference room itself. Uh, yeah, the, the hallway's just one giant circle. Oh, it's a just a pixel hunt in the conference room? Is it the same thing for the card in here? We know it's in here, but... Like we look through these. Just just stand just stand. Right? Didn't I I had to have opened these. There's no way I didn't. Uh, There's no way I didn't. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. Alright, well if we know that the the key is somewhere in the conference room. That let's just pixel hunt that up. I, I, I don't know if it's near. Ah, uh, you can't check the right two drawers. Ah, oh, but the, but the! Dude, I, I, I don't know where it is. But, yeah, if we go back this in here. The super. Right. Um, for whatever reason, these desks don't have, like, right two drawers. I know it looks like it, but...
But if you mouse over it, just it doesn't have that open. So let's go back to our conference room. That door leads. Uh, let's save. And pixel hunt. I did not see. It's literally an eye. Uh. Try to move a little. God, God damn it. God. I'm glad I saved. It's okay. <laughs> There's like a circle of hell that's just all about pixel hunting. Dante's Inferno is just. You know. The drip. All right, so it's in here, apparently. Where? Where? It's not on this shelf. That, no, that's not anything. Like, what makes pen pixel hunting even harder is that you can't just, like, normal pixel hunting. Oh, let me ban that. Ah, shit, no, did I just break the game? Shit. Yeah, I don't think I have any moderator in here right now. <laughs> is it is the key on the table somewhere? Is it like in a freaking coffee cup? These mugs make me thirsty for These mugs These mugs This memo These mugs These mugs These mugs Where where is this stupid ass key? That no. Yeah, the portraits I moused over all of them. Oh, okay, Stark help, I'll look into that. Let's Warning. See. God Security Sweep will begin in five Seconds. All right, that's all right. Just get our asses out of here. No, 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 no. Bad. All right. Because we're we're like not puzzle solving and we're pixel hunting at this point. I uh. Come here. Apparently, each room has a safe zone you can hide to avoid having to leave them. Oh. Well. Let's see here. God damn it. Text. Uh, conference room key. Conference room keg. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh god, this is the whole thing, isn't there? I guess no one has specifically uh, looked just for X Murphy clues without the whole guide. Is it just going to say, like, pick it up? I hope not. Ah, so that's an interesting mechanic that the game never took. You can duck. I actually don't know how to stand back up, though. I, I'm not quite sure how to stand back up. I, I just saw, like, press control to duck. 
Um, but I I don't know how to stand back up. Config. Where? Where would you find this? I don't know how to stand. Okay, now. All right. Well. Uh. Okay, shift. Have I had a chance to play Classic WoW? I've not. Um, I've, that... I've basically been playing a lot of Final Fantasy uh, 14. That's kind of my my big um, MMO. Okay. The dreaded cop. So I can. His desk looks like. I can duck. Does that actually get me anything? Shit. Leon, like flying around this place. It it doesn't actually seem to. Um But Uh, unfortunately, uh, despite being able to use this new um, wonderful technology of ducking, I, it doesn't actually seem to help at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I still don't see a key or anything. I mean, under the table is what I would expect. I'm just, like, starting to get seasick now. This <laughs> guy only plays the speedrunning toddler, yeah. The supervisor. Uh, so... We, like, do have options now. Ah! Whoa, what have we here? All right. All right. It's on a ledge of the wall, left-hand side of the room. Okay. We'll take a look at that. But we now have access to her card, which, right, you really couldn't... Uh, wait, am I, like... Am I taller than normal? You can! You can stand on your tippy toes! Wait, wait, wait. We're <laughs> learning new technology. Okay. Let's use Thank this. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's use the uh, mini disc. Oh, this is Ava. I've made initial contact with the cult. The colonel's information was right on. There are at least two employees here that are members. I haven't been able to find a solid link between GRS and the cult. But I'm sure Tucker knows what's going on. Over the past month, I've been letting people know that I support the eugenics movement. Finally, I was contacted today by a cult member named Murray. He's a project supervisor. I'll be attending an initiating meeting tomorrow night. I've gotten to know one of the young researchers, Paul Dubois. I'm fairly sure he knows nothing about the cult. He told me that Tucker doesn't trust most of his staff and has the project groups working separately. Nine or ten people came to the meeting in Tucker's office. The only ones I knew were Tucker, Murray, and Paul. I got the name of only one other cult member, a creepy little Nazi named Camden Leander. He seemed to be the highest ranking member. I didn't learn much. They seemed more concerned with grilling me and Paul. I don't what think Paul is cut out for your the cult. I think he's attended the meetings to get to know me. I've advised him to get out while he can. Also, there's a young woman named Elena oh. Moore who works as Tucker's assistant. She doesn't seem to know what's going on here. I think she knows too much, and she'll probably be eliminated when the current project is finished. I've warned her to get out of the company. 
It looks like the project is almost completed. The cult members are ecstatic. I keep hearing them use the words purification and alluvian. I don't know what they mean, but whatever's going to happen is going to happen soon. I'm not going to use a chip until I have a better idea of what they're up to. At our last meeting, there was an older man. He looked familiar, but I couldn't place him. Apparently, he's in charge. I noticed him staring at me during the meetings. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, he pulled me aside and said there would be a special place for me in the New Order. I'm going to play along. That... That was absolutely nothing. That that was literally nothing. That... That... That, that there was nothing there that we didn't already know. So, on the- Oh my god, there it is! F are you fucking kid? How did I not see that? How did I not see that? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright. Let's use the video cassette. I should turn on the- Looks like it's okay. It's turned on now. I can't believe I missed that. Though not an effective way to infect the mass population, <coughs> the viral powder combined with tobacco <coughs> then inhaled is the quickest way to provoke death. Witness its effects on the traitor Paul Dubois. I guess this was supposed to show you how to, like, you know, the. Oh, oh, jeez. On a larger scale, the virus can be introduced into the upper atmosphere by means of dispenser satellites. With proper flight path alignment and a minimum of 100 dispensers, Earth's atmosphere could be thoroughly saturated within 12 hours. Once in the atmosphere, the viral molecules bond to condensing moisture and create a seeding effect. The ensuing rainstorms would bring the virus down to the planet's surface. As we have witnessed, the effect of the virus is almost instantaneous, and the entire fauna population of the Earth should expire within several days at most. While this method of extermination is thorough, its residual effects are significant. The atmosphere will continue to cycle the virus for years until natural decay and filtering cause the viral strain to become a negligible portion of the atmosphere. We estimate that this process will require a minimum of 30 years to complete. Wonderful. Um, so we, we're, we're actually like no closer to s oh. Warning. Security oh. Shut the sweep hell up. will begin in five seconds. Shut up. Go away. So we still know we need a watch to hide the the thing but we're not actually sure how to get a watch to hide the thing uh. right let's go to our office real quick just so i can not have to listen to that buzzing forehead system here yeah this is our And get the so it is there, so I find it very funny that before, like in the Countess's mansion, it doesn't tell you anything there. Oh shit! So the watch has to be in the Countess's mansion. I mean, we're we're basically just losing to pixel hunting at this point in a game that's not very easy to pixel hunt in. Um, but now that we have our new technology. Uh, the new technology isn't helping. Ah, there it is. No, I, I got it now. I, I understand now. Yeah. If you didn't know that you could press shift to stand on your tippy toes, then there's no fucking way you could find this. 
Hey, neat. I saw a watch just like this one in my spy supply cattle. That... okay. Now, folks, I think we're ready to go on to the space station. Now we're ready. Uh, after we save. All right. All right. All right. Now we got it. Oh shit. What was the fourth? Did you find ball? what? Yeah. Well, let's see it. I I have shoot, I wrote top, mid, bottom, not left. I don't remember which one it was. Bottom? Okay. I walk. Well, that's not going to work. My friends Ha! Oh, I'll get inside that. Okay. I can I can save before the last one now, right? So. Top. <laughs> Even in the cutscenes, that's not gonna work. That's gonna be haunting me forever now. Well, that's not the right size paper. Is, uh... Well, that's not going to work. I wonder if it's the same in each game. Lucky. I would like to show you my superpower. Saves coming. We, we thought it was the bottom. Damn you, Murphy! <laughs> Sit down. All right. Agreeable. Thanks. Sure. Oh, it won't be long now. I'm ready for some fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. By the way, Farrell told me to ask about the house special. Yep. Oh, really? Let's, uh, P.I. toast. Thanks, sister. Well, here's mud in your eye. And roofied out. <laughs> so, you're Tex Murphy. Well. I just didn't want to listen to her cackle again. That was... Mooning the cult. This was a... This was a solid game, though. I, I'm a little bit aggravated at the uh the figure was tall and gaunt and in the costume and bearing of the stranger neither wit nor propriety existed there are chords in the hearts of the most reckless which cannot be touched without emotion even with the utterly lost to whom life and death are equally jests there are matters of which no jest can be made all right i must have died and gone to heaven Except I don't think people in heaven have raging hangovers. I must be on the moon, child. I have to admit, it is incredible. I could get used to living in a place like this. I've never seen anything so beautiful. What's that sound? Something's coming this way. I swear to God, if it's that drone, I'm, t I'm just all to fouring and going home. Wait, what are these cube things? So, Lowell Percival is behind but, all this. I... His offer is tempting. It sounds like paradise. I think I missed... There's probably no way to stop the cult now, so maybe I should just make the best of it. Hold on, Murphy. Don't I, forget I think what they've I skipped the cutscene by accident. They intend to wipe out every person that doesn't have to meet their standards. I yeah. wouldn't last very long in Sorry, a club folks. like this. I could never be part of their brotherhood. I've got to find a way to stop them, but I'm gonna need some help. Baby Shanzi is still alive and I can find her. The two of us might be able to figure something out. Maybe it's too late, but I've got to do something. I, I, I thought, like, I could interact with the game. Uh, you know. I looked through the pockets of my overcoat, but they've taken everything. All I've got left is the watch I found at the Countess Mansion. Could be a lot worse, though. 
At least they didn't find the winter chip. They took everything. Oh, okay, they did take everything. Yeah, I, I have a feeling, like, the dude's like, ah ha ha, I'm a genocidal maniac. Back on Earth, this thing wouldn't last ten minutes without getting spray painted. Alright, so we got a whole new ma Oh, we got poop on the ground. Looks like someone didn't get around to picking up this pile of leaves. Groundskeepers must belong to a union. We can't move them, though, huh? Okay. Alright, well, you know. Let's get ready to pixel hunt our asses through this place. So we've got a, just one door that we can interact with, right? Uh, two, I guess. We've got that one and the one behind us. What is this? The walls are constructed of bonded titanium. Not even a blowtorch would cut through it. Yeah, the good guy did uh, actually consider joining the, um, you know, genocidal ethnic <laughs> purging. <laughs> uh, Tex Murphy, maybe not the hero that we, we need, but, but the hero we deserve. Oh. Huh, a bottle of lighting fluid. These cult members must like to barbecue. Uh, seems like leaves would be a good... Oh, 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 oh. That's a that's a pixel hunt if I ever saw one. Hmm. This piece of rock looks like it's come loose from the mortar. Pick up a rake thing. I didn't see a rake thing. But Okay, come on, text. Please just move. Please God, just move. Where did we see a rake? the back right of the room if you're looking at the window okay I don't know why like my movement right now is so slow I'm all right let's oh this is something here too look at this this rock looks like it may actually be a piece of flint Um, the right thing was in the back right of the room, if you're looking at the window. Why am I still not seeing this? I'm sure every time I pass over, it's making you cringe a little bit inside. As in the back right, using the window as the front. So it's way in the corner. What? Heck. Oh, 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 oh. I see this. A rake. Too bad someone already gathered up all the leaves in here. I, I see it. Yeah. Dude, I, I don't know why my movement all of a sudden has decided, like, we can't move. I, I, I'm doing nothing different in here, and I feel like every time I push the mouse forward, I go slower. That's got to be a smoke detector, right? Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's a Puff Buster smoke detector. Yeah. So we got to start a fire. Let's use this. Looks like someone didn't get around to picking up this pot. I, I assume that was what I wanted to do. And use sparks. Um, I should have saved. What is this? Oh, that's what I did. <laughs> that's so creepy. 
What an idiot. I do the exact oh. same thing? Yeah, okay. You may want to take his gun. Take the gun. Grab the gun. Okay. Okay. What an idiot indeed. Oh, dude, if this place is a maze. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. You, you guys have no idea how bad I am at mazes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Looks like someone laid a piece of pine. Did it did it break? Or did Sounds I like die? a purification party is going on somewhere behind this door. Okay, so we, we probably don't want to go in there. I know this sounds crazy. I'm I'm gonna put the walking speed up to medium. Okay, now now we're moving. Stasis room. Uh, the door to the stasis room. As I enter the stasis room, I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. I'm no Prince Charming, but there's a sleeping beauty lying peacefully in a cryonic chamber. It's Ava Shanzi. Boy, do I need to talk to her. As I look around, I spot a console nearby. Looking it over, I figure it must be used to control the cryonic sleep state. If I can resuscitate Ava, maybe we can still stop the cult. Um... I've seen consoles like this before. The four buttons along the top must administer injections. The two slider controls look like they regulate the air temperature and oxygen level inside the cryonic tube. I seem to remember that slider mechanisms like these are really sensitive and need to be moved slowly. Well, first things first. I'll need to turn this thing on. Oh, God. And I, I... What? Where? Why am I... Did that just, like... <laughs> I think I just locked myself up. Like... I... <sighs> Fuck me. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm locked up. Well, can I alt enter? I can. Oops, I mean to pin that to the taskbar. But did I? Yeah, it's dead. It's dead. Yes. As I enter the stasis room, All right, I so feel I like can't, I've stepped into a fairy tale. I can't tale. actually save. I'm no Prince Charming, but there's a sleeping beauty lying peacefully. I've seen consoles like this before. I, I can't save and I can't exit. If I exit, let me try exiting again. Oh, oh, it's, it worked, it worked! Butry. Okay, okay. As I enter, I've seen cons... Oh, look at her! Okay, warning fun. Uh, let's let's do some sodium fentanyl. Hmm. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. Maybe I should wait a few seconds and see if it goes off before I try anything else. Okay. When it's ever... <laughs> I'll do it the first time. When has anything ever gone wrong in my uh, Let's Plays? Really? Never. Okay, so she, did, she didn't like this. Let's try sodium bicarbonate. Nope, that that's that's no good. I'm I'm killing her. Up. Oh! Well, how was I supposed to figure out that stupid stasis panel? It's hardly fair to give me only one crack at it. Well, okay. Oh. So so wait 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 wait. This I, is the door. I hate this game. As I enter, the, I've seen console. All right, let's try the epinephrine. Oh, wait, I gotta turn it on. Oh, that's epinephrine. Hmm. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. 
Maybe I should wait a few seconds and see if it goes off before I try anything else. Uh... Okay. All right, it, she's good. Let's let's just shock her, right? Let's shock her. Well, how was I supposed to figure out that? Like this is the. All of them kill her. As I enter, I've seen console. What is the hit? Oh no no no. So let's let's, like epinephrine sounds good. Hmm. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. Fuck it. Let's give her some more. Just keep hitting her with epinephrine. Oh. Well, how was I supposed? That 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 wasn't the answer. As I. As I enter this, I've seen consoles like this. The fact that the game, like, auto-brings you back to this tells me that there's probably not directions, that you just gotta figure this shit out. Um, so... Like, shocker? Hmm. That yellow warning. And let's give her some epinephrine. And some sodium pen... And, and some sodium bicarbonate. Oh, no. Well, how was I supposed to figure out that stupid state? Oh, can I... Can I raise? I I actually this didn't try that. That's, I that's a good call. I've seen. Con hmm. Oh. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. Maybe I should move the slider back to where it was and try again. All right. Let's let's. Aha! A red light went off in one of those phase one boxes. I must have done something right. Okay. I've got to get those other boxes to light up. All right, so the first thing we do is we raise temp. Now let's uh, let's raise the oxygen. Wait, can I raise the temp more? Nope, 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 nope. Too much, too much, too much. Give her, give her a little, little oxygen. Okay, so uh, raise temp to sixty. Raise the oxygen to twelve. So oh, two to twelve. All right, we're we're getting there. What if we do it to thirteen? Nope, nope, we're killing her. Don't 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 kill her. Uh, let's give her a let, let, little more temperature raising. No, I don't think so. Nope, 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 nope. Well, let's let, we're we're back down. We're back down. Um, sodium pentothal is an uh is an anesthetic, so if she freaks out... Okay, so if the pulse rate starts going... Up, okay. Let's let's give her a little epinephrine. Okay! And and, and epinephrine. Ah, fuck! I just whacked myself with my mic. Sorry if you got, like, a massive static. Okay. Alright. Epinephrine. Let's, uh, a little more O2. Nope, nope, nope. Um, what, what about some sodium bicarbonate? Sorry. Sorry, I, I, my mistake. I like this pain. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sodium bicarbonate. Oh, nope, nope. That's killing her. Um, okay, she seems to be okay now. What about an electrical shock? Okay, and then shocker. Phase one done. <laughs> Haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Step three, whack Mike with headphones. Got it. Okay, um, let's give her a little more oxygen. Nope, nope, nope. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like it. No, no, no. A little more temperature. Okay, raise temperature to 90. Uh, a little more oxygen now? Nope, nope. She doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sodium bicarbonate. Oh, nope, that's killing her too. Okay, hang on, hang on. Settle down, settle down, settle down. You're okay. How about another shock? Nope, nope. Doesn't like the shock either. Oh, did I, I killed her. Well, how was I Fuck. supposed to feel? I killed her. <laughs> 
Wait, what? This is... All right, but that's all right. We know how to do phase As one. I enter this. Oh, it brings me right back here. Why am I writing this shit down? That seems unfair. All right, let's little sodium pent uh, pentothal. That's that's what he wants. I'm still going to write it down just in case. Little sodium pen. Like, I, I just don't get this game, man. Like, there's there's times where it is so unforgivingly difficult. And other times where it's like, oh, yeah, sure, not a problem. Please, please, please. All right, let's shock her again. Hmm. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. Maybe I should wait a few seconds and see if it goes off before I try anything else. All right, let's let it go off. Let's a uh, little more oxygen. Nope, doesn't want the oxygen. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jesus. Um, shock. Nope, nope. We're killing her. Well, how we was I? We we killed her. This is just trial and error puzzle. As I enter this. Now, see, look. Now it starts you over. It starts you all over. No, it doesn't. Never mind. We hit on and it's back on. Okay. Alright. 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 Right. 98.6? Hmm. That yellow warning light doesn't nope. look good. Nope. Maybe I should move the slider back to where it was and try again. So we, we hit her with the sodium pen pentothal. Do we give her more epi? Okay, so it's an epi. And now we don't know what to do to her. Let's oxygen up. Oxygen up to 14. All right, all right, all right. How about, how about raise your temperature 98.6? Perfect. Uh, let's shock her. Nope, she didn't like the shock. <laughs> this girl's going to come out. We raise your oxygen a little more. Okay, O2 to 16. At least now I know how to revive somebody. Right. I'll bring this notepad with me just in case. Well, let's give her a little more epinephrine. Oh, it, it was epi. And I, I think a shock. It's got to be a shock. Nope, it, it was not a shock. It was not a shock. Pentothal or bicarbonate? Uh, I'm going to go with the bicarbonate. Bam. Dude, I'm a god. First try. What happened to my sound? So is it all over? Are what your the prophecies taken care of? Uh, Look, prophecies aren't in my job description, okay? I'm just a humble PI trying to save the world as we know it. Well, if you're not in the cult, then what are you doing here? Look, I think we're running out of time here, but my name's Tex Murphy. I know you're Ava Shanzi because I followed your trail from the Colonel to GRS to up here. So why don't you tell me how you ended up getting freeze-dried? Percival has a thing for me, so he decided not to have me killed. Uh -huh. Instead, he put me into stasis to keep me out of the way until after the purification. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is the purification won't start for about 45 minutes. The bad news is we've only got 45 minutes to stop these people. Luckily, I've got the winter chip, but you need to tell me how to use it. Well, how did you get it? Listen, there's no time for explanations now. We have to hurry. Take this. There are instructions on what to do with the winter chip. When you get into position, wait for my signal. In exactly 30 minutes, I'm going to create a power surge. That will give us our last chance to stop the cult. That note also has instructions on how to reach the escape pods. I'll oh, wait fuck. until the last second, but hurry. And listen, Murphy, good luck. We get out of here, you can tell me your story. Um, please tell me this isn't real time. We want a girl. Okay. Um, not hit. No, no, no. Shit, 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 shit. I didn't need that. I needed the mission paper. Actually, Ava's key? When, when did you give me a key? 
Pipe is slim, but it feels pretty solid. Make a nice pry bar. All right. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. This this is a lot. Oh oh god. Yeah, even the genocidal Nazis are still nice enough to not frisk a woman. <laughs> okay, you are the second agent uh, to get aboard the Moonchild. Agent Lohman was able to transmit marginally detailed information before being discovered and terminated. His transmissions provided us with just enough data to formulate a plan of action. Our computers tabulate its failure, uh, failure success ratio at 3763, success failure. Uh, get access to level 18 of the Moonchild. This level contains an arborit, uh, arboretum. A main hall, a stasis room, and an observatory. Check! We got that. Locate and retrieve the link-up computer. Agent Lohman was able to hide this computer somewhere, uh, somewhere on level 18 before he was discovered. Pixel hunting. Yes! So, find computer. You will need one of the Moonchild's own computer cables in order to attach the link-up computer to the Moonchild's... Alright, find cable! Have Louie look over these plans. <laughs> Sorry, Star Kelp. Can't help you there. <laughs> Poor Louie. There is a computer console linked to the Moonchild's main computer hidden somewhere in a wall on this level. Fuck! This is like all goddamn pixel hunting! Find... Wall computer. Put the winner chip in the link-up computer and attach the link-up computer to the computer console. Open an emergency exit and move to bay D5. Uh, don't, we can't predict the effect of the winner chips virus, okay? Good luck. Bay D5. If this is real time, um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really upset. This is all for Louie. Don't worry, Louie. We got your back, buddy. We won't let anything bad happen to you. Emergency access. Okay. Um, so that... Oh, God! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no! Um... Oh, oh, no. Uh, can I, can I, hey guys, welcome to, uh, my speed run of Tex Murphy, uh, we're gonna be the, uh, clip strategy here, we call this, uh, Donger Clip, uh, Donger Clip, it was discovered by a guy named, uh, Paul Donger, um, was originally called Louis Clip, but we didn't want to soil Louis's name with that, so, I, I don't think I could. Pipe is slim, but it, it, it was just easier to reload at that point. <laughs> New speedrun tech discovered live. There's a $200 bounty on this one, too. So we know we need... Looks like the access panel requires some... Okay. Let's see where this takes me. This door looks like it probably opens from the other side. <laughs> Well, that's not going to work. Uh, all right, you know. That was that was pretty impressive to find that clip there. I'm I'm very uh <laughs> observation deck. I don't This is so. where we came from, right? Oh no, this is different. This is This pen. Hmm. Can I use Ava's key? Of course I can. What the fuck? Links 986. Uh, looks like some sort of croquet software. 
What? Aha. This must be the mini computer. Alright, so I got the mini computer. Check. Who are you talking about, Falcon Reaver of the uh, inner monologue? Me or uh, <laughs> me or Tex? Hmm, a cocktail glass with a ceranite flex straw. The hell is a ceranite flex straw? The cocktail glass is worthless, but I love flex straws. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Tex is just well. I wouldn't say ahead of his time, I guess, because he's he's in the future. But oh, that's a move. That's a move. What do we got? We got fucking nothing. We, we got nothing. Shit balls. But the other one might move. What a gr Right? Was that really nothing what there? It's nothing there. Maybe the other plant. Maybe the other plant. What a great tree. If I get off this godforsaken... So why does the other one go sailing and this one just like barely scoots? We don't have time to, to figure that out. What is that? This looks like an old fashioned telephone jack. No, it's a recess button. I'll need something to reach in. I think a straw. Aha, this panel should give me access to the moon child's main computer. Hold on, everybody, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Uh, but unfortunately, I need the link-up computer. So we, we still... Door. You know what? Save. Progress here. Come on. Come on. Like, you were moving... This door, this door leads back to the Arboretum, and I'd rather not get trapped in there again. Okay. Wonderful. So, this probably kills us. Yeah, that, that's going to kill us. Maybe, 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 what we need is actually in here. This is the door to the... Uh, it's it, it's not. <laughs> so there's really not a ton of places we can go here. Let's save. Right, you can't use shift. Sounds like the pure... I see you back again. Yep. The right plant had a what looked like a square under it. We can go back there. Did I? Yeah. I didn't see a square, but... Oh! Good this call! This looks like it's removable. I'll need something to... Pr Good call! Looks like one of these computer cables ought to do the trick. The problem, though, is we don't have a way out. We don't have an ID card. Right? And, uh... Oh, I mean, maybe maybe that problem... Oh, you could double crouch! I didn't know you could double crouch. I didn't know you could double crouch. That doesn't really help, though. So, let's see. Let's get up on tippy toes. What is... Oh, no, that's just tree. These plants fill the room with a spring. Um... Yeah, let's, uh... Well, let's, let's blow shit up. And... Right, let's let's just let's combine you and you and you and you.
And well, let's. It's been almost thirty minutes. If they didn't find Ava, she should be creating a power surge any second. That'll give me time to patch the mini computer into the Moonchild main computer. <laughs> now I've got to get to the engineering corridors and fast. Was was that it? The solar flare, the uh, sun flare things. That's so. <laughs> I've got a system warning on level 18, section J. I'm attempting to override that. Uh, now I'm showing a temporary system failure. Climate control is down on levels 4 through 18. Winter sequence engaged. Please don't make me run through this. The whole system is shutting down and I can't do a damn thing about it. Damn it! Malfunction has initiated the self-destruct sequence. Download the backup system! Oh my god. I kind of hope there's a mini game where you have to pilot this thing down to Earth and it's just like whacked out. Defeated space racism. Yes, we did. <laughs> he had come like a thief in the night, and one by one dropped the revelers, and died each in the despairing posture of his fall. And darkness, and decay, and death held illimitable dominion over all. I assume this is the end of the game, right? I mean... Some good work, Tex. I guess you didn't forget everything I taught you. Maybe it's not too late I could make a real detective out of you. I don't know. This saving the world business doesn't pay so well. My cousin Vinny says he can cut me in on some Amway action. That's a load of hooey. You got it in your blood, Tex. You'd gum chew for pocket change. Hey, pocket change would be a step up for me. Well, you know, I've done pretty well over the past few years. Put a few greenbacks away. But I'm not so young as I used to be. Maybe we could work out an arrangement. Eh? I'll be the brains, you be the legs. A lot of work out there for somebody with your skills. I say, partners? I don't think so. Hmm. I work alone. Nah. Ava. Yeah, I was hoping I'd see you around. Oh, hi, Tex. Hello, handsome. <laughs> Long time no see. You look good as ever. What have you been up to? Nothing much. <laughs> Say, uh, tell me, have you still got that Twister game? He said Twister! I do, but I haven't played it in a long time. Oh, my God. 
Listen, Zach, something's popped up. I think I found a partner to do undercover work with. I'll see you around. Wow. So here I am, back where I started. Lonely, broke, and late for an appointment back in my office. Okay, so maybe it's not a perfect world. Maybe there are more glamorous ways to spend Saturday night than teaching cha-cha lessons to lonely women like Dolores Lightbody. At least she's a regular client and it seems to make her happy. And she always pays me up front in cash. Now that I think about it, things are better. I cleared up my bar tab with Louie and I did solve the pawn shop burglary for Rook. Yeah, once word gets around, I'll be up to my neck in good paying jobs. We got two sprites moving at once. Uh, looks like Murphy pulled it off, sir. Yes, but next time, he may not be so fortunate. Louie got next paid. Next time, sir. The forces of darkness sleep, but do not die. Even now, I sense evil stirring. An evil about to re-enter the life of our friend Murphy. Tex, honey. Long time no see. Forgive me? Well, folks, we did it. I, I, I what do you, what do you even say to this game? Like, one, I one, take one, action. Oh. So you're Tex Murphy. Ah, uh, well, we're gonna make your trip as comfortable as possible. Nighty night. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, to me. The only problem was you don't shoot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloopers in this have got to be fantastic. Give me a Louis blooper, please. Please give me a Louis blooper. Tomorrow night. You will die. Okay, good. Awesome. Yes. Oscar, Oscar. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. <laughs> Typical director. <laughs> That's perfect. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Let's just... I, I can never understand that logic in directing. <laughs> How is Tex Murphy number five on the Let's credits list? One more time. Um, on the, uh, on the pain list. Louis laments uh, Randall Edwards. Please, we got to look up Randall Edwards. I don't know why the music decided to just now start blasting. Zero A1. Scene zero, A1, take one, action. I did some good work, Tex. I guess you didn't forget everything I taught you. Maybe it's not too late I can make a real detective out of you. That's <laughs> ah, terrible shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I honestly thought, I, I kept meaning to say it, I didn't actually think that, like, when they were acting in the same scene, that they, these were people talking to each other. That it was always, like, in separate rooms, in separate studios. And it, it looked like, based on that, that that's basically what it was, is it, most of the time, it was just one person. Well, folks, we did it. Tex Murphy won, down and done. Um, it's 10 o'clock anyway, so that kind of works out for me anyway to get some sleep. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there are more Tex Murphy games to play, so I'm, I'm certainly going to be moving on. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do next. Um, probably Outer Worlds? Outer Wilds? The, the space one, the, the, the exploration one. Um, but I'll, I'll do that, uh, my guess that'll be next. And, um... 
Outer Wilds. And then we'll rock out probably another Tex Murphy again. So um, thank you guys very much for tuning into this. It, it has meant a lot to me that uh, you guys enjoy this as much as you do. And uh, we'll see you on the next stream. So as always, folks, thank you very much for watching. And please tune into the next. Thanks for watching, folks. It is, uh, it's greatly appreciated.